Okay, so to begin, let's zoom out just a bit and let's talk about alchemy from a simplified perspective. So really, what is this thing? Like at its core, what is the fundamental truth of alchemy? Well, it's change, right? What was once this goes through the alchemical process and now it's that. But of course, the key to alchemy and the reason that it's so appealing to us is that the change we're talking about here is transformational change. So this is the kind of change that's like, we can't confuse it with basic, rudimentary, random flavors of change because this is more like change in the right direction. This is you changing into the person that you're meant to be, right? So another way that we could describe alchemy is intelligent change. But of course, the kind of intelligence that I'm referring to here is not this mind-based, egocentric intelligence, but instead, this is the primal, innate wisdom of your being, which is leading you towards evolution. Which of course implies that the person you're meant to be, so this truthful, open-hearted, compassionate, creative, loving person that you are destined to become, well, they're waiting for you on the other side of the alchemical process. But unfortunately, that transformed version of yourself, it's not gonna be the topic of today's conversation because here you are at step number one, wondering how to even initiate this process of evolution. But before I give you the key to taking this first step, I want to quickly just reframe this notion of alchemy because I think it will help you better understand and prepare for this process that you're about to go through. And so in order to do that, I wanna talk about your current situation from the perspective of alchemy. So if we're looking at you and everything that you're going through, but we look at it through the eyes of alchemy, so what does that look like? Well, according to alchemy, your current situation is nothing more than fuel for the fire, plain and simple. So your self-concept, your belief systems, your gender situation, your history, your pain, your doubts, your judgments, your ideas, your stories, it, really everything else that makes you individual you. So all of this is fuel for the fire. And so what do I actually mean when I say fire? Well, this is the fire of evolution. This is the fire of your own becoming. And these are the flames of transformation. They're burning away everything that is not you in order to reveal everything that is you. And then once that you has been revealed, then you turn around and you say, wow, I just experienced the alchemical process. And so, of course, if you're a gender alchemist, then that fire is none other than your gender exploration, which means that the only way for you to cross that bridge, to close that gap, is by walking directly into this experience. And only when this idea of who you think you are is consumed by these flames, will you be able to experience the reality of who you are. And so that's what I mean when I say that your current situation is nothing more than fuel for the fire. Because right now, this is the version of you who is going through transformation, right? So your ideas, your concepts, your beliefs, your history, all of this is falling away so that you can become who you are meant to be. This is simply how the game is played. And it has to be this way. Otherwise, we would just end up with more of the same, right? Otherwise, this would be a surface level rearranging of the details. But that's not what alchemy is about. It's not about playing pretend. No, it's about radical, transformational, intelligent change, which is brought to you by the fire of evolution. And so that brings us to step number one, which is called cultivate and express willingness. So after hearing all this talk of transformation, I think it'd be appropriate to take a moment to consider, uh, are you willing to walk into that fire? <laughs> are you willing to move beyond what you currently know in order to discover something new? Are you willing to honor your transgender nature and live life as yourself? And if you are willing, if you've got that inner yes, then amazing because that willingness is your key to initiating this process of transformation. So my advice is gonna to be to just sit inside of that willingness. 
You can feed it with your thoughts and emotions. Uh, you could contemplate it. You could speak it out loud. Uh, just hold it in your heart. And, you know, and in general, just do whatever you can in order to further explore this notion of willingness. You consider, you can consider like, okay, what does this idea even mean? You know, is it just a word or are there feelings associated with it? Um, are there actions associated with it? You know, does this idea feel alive or is it scary or exciting? Like, what are the qualities that go along with being willing? And so obviously there's not, I'm not trying to say that there's a right or a wrong answer, but instead I just really want you to step inside of willingness and consider uh, its qualities and consider its implications in your life according to your life experience. And then it's also important to recognize that willingness is simply willingness, right? So it doesn't mean that you have to understand what comes next. It doesn't mean that you need a five point plan with a timeline and a list of pros and cons. No, you just need to be willing. You just need to have this inner yes to life and what's in store for you. And it can be helpful to realize that, okay, when it comes to transformation, like this isn't me transforming myself. Like it's not something that I'm in charge of and I need to do all the work for. No, instead this is the raw primal energy of transformation, which is acting upon you. Or in other words, this is evolution, which is happening to you. So really just don't, you don't need to feel this weight, um, or this pressure, like, oh, I need to put the process all on myself. No, instead, you just need to be willing to go through it. Because what happens when you cultivate and express that willingness? Well, this is like sending up a beacon into the sky. So you're letting the universe know, hey, here I am, I'm ready. You know, I don't know all the details and I don't know what comes next, but I am ready. So in a gist, this is step one cultivate and express that willingness. So an activity that you might want to do to really solidify this um, is you could journal your process. So you could express your fears and you could write about your anxieties and you could consider the qualities of the person that you're evolving into. Um, and you could talk about the things that you're willing to give up in order to get there. And you could just how it could feel like a dialogue that you're having. Uh, you could have it with the universe or you could have it with the energy of transformation or with your future self. Um, but just make it a useful practice for yourself and just give yourself to it. And then when you're ready, um, you can turn it into a sort of a, a opening ceremony for your transformation. And so you can burn the paper and as it's burning, you could connect to the fire and to those flames and, and consider its qualities. And, and then you can imagine like, okay, the flames are carrying my willingness into the atmosphere. So that could be pretty fun. <laughs> and then if you're, so possibly you're not feeling quite so ready and you're saying to yourself, well, damn, like all this sounds pretty intense. And if that's what you're saying, then yeah, you're absolutely right. Like this is intense, but thankfully there is a silver lining to all of this. And that is the simple fact that evolution, this is your destiny because this is why you're here, right? To become the person you are meant to be, which means that you have all of life's support and you can really take solace in the fact that you have billions of years of evolution at your back and you've got an intelligence which is like capable of creating universes and worlds and this intelligence is flowing through you and you can like trust in the fact that you are life itself and life finds a way, right? Life understands how to evolve and how to transform even if you don't. And at some point, you're gonna feel ready to be yourself. And when you are, the flames of alchemy are ready to receive your offering. And then as soon as that happens, you're gonna be ready to take this next step of your journey as a gender alchemist, which ironically isn't actually a step that takes you over there, but instead it takes you here because that's what this journey is all about, right? Getting here, not there, but here. So that's what step two in this 
series is all about. Getting to this place where you can say that the person I am becoming is no longer there, but here. And so check out this video and I'll see you in step two. All right, my friend, talk soon.